Time for an adventure with Captain Toad and Toadette on the Nintendo Switch! Hey everyone, we're the Nintendo Power Couple. Welcome to Funsies in Ooh. Our Onesies. I'm Philia. And I'm Danny, and today we are so excited to be playing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on the Nintendo Switch provided to us by our friends at Nintendo of America. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Now we played this game on the Wii U and absolutely loved it. Yeah. We played it together and we're really excited to get into it on the Switch too. So let's go on an adventure. Okay, so here's the main menu. We are just starting the game up ourselves now. Yeah. Um, so here's the first level. Now, um, what's interesting is that uh, unlike Captain Toad, from what I remember on the Wii U, this version automatically has the uh, gyro cursor the whole time when you're playing single player. We tried it with the Pro Controller, yeah. and two players is only available with two Joy-Cons. So today we're gonna be pressing the minus button. We're gonna go to two player mode, and, and we're gonna connect. I'll give you that one. And I'll get a Joy-Con. So hold L and R for blue, Joy-Con's in. And then, there we go. Okay. So they're going to tell two. us, now, blue um, controls Captain Toad, and um, the red one is vertically. Now, you can control the pointer, and you control the camera. That's right. So we're going to be working together to try to get as much treasure and rescue um, We're going to have to Toadette. communicate together. Yes. And you'll have to let me when you need. And I can also actually, like, throw... Um, the little radishes, so we will see that in a and second. And it looks like if you press the plus button and your and the stick down, I think you could center the pointer. So if you do, if the gyros get off, I think you okay. could recenter. So you want to jump on in? Let's do it. Plucky Pass Beginnings. Now, we played this again, like you said earlier, yeah. on the Wii U. We pretty much got 100% on this yeah. game. Yeah. So and we loved it. It was so much fun. Adorable. And basically what we would do is like, you'd play a couple levels and then just give me the controller and I'd play a couple levels and we just went back and forth. Sorry! <laughs> I accidentally hit him in the face. <laughs> so now Toad can't jump. So um, you're going to tilt the R to move around. And you could collect the three diamonds in each level. So I just got that diamond. And we'll see that. This game has a lot to do with perspective, so sometimes you might not see a secret or anything. Just like with this, here it looks like you'd have to jump up, but then you turn it around and, and there you can you actually are. just run up the ramp. So you could blow that up for me, I think, yes, right? Yeah. I can. So normally I would have to try to turn, throw a turnip at it, but Philia was able to help me out. I'm a master turnip thrower. <laughs> so I could actually turn the camera too, I think, if I press. Which button is it? It's the down uh, down arrow button, and I can move with the stick, too. Okay. So I'm going to try to hit this guy for you. Thank you. So now, as you see, the, the, the um, pointer that Philia has is always on screen, unless you're playing handheld. So. Yeah, even if you're playing one player, just... Yeah. Ah! yeah, we previously knew about the secret. That's why we went there. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, so I that's one thing I, I would criticize. Um, I don't like the pointer being in on the, the screen all the in time. In the one player, um, it's blue, and it's there all the time, but you don't necessarily need it. Yeah, you can't throw stuff with it. Um, you can't do all the actions of the um, player two like Philly's doing now. You can highlight an enemy and kind of like stun them momentarily, so it can help you out in a bind. Um, uh, I should say that that was a feature that was on um, the touchscreen for the Wii U. So yes. on the Wii U, you can touch the touchscreen and like stop a shy guy in their path. Let's take that star real quick. Um, so I guess since there's no touchscreen, you're not playing with the, uh, the Wii U gamepad, to fix it, there's now a motion gyro pointer that you can then use. Yeah, so. which in two player it works, but in one player it seems like unnecessary and, and just adds this little, um, what would you call that, pointer on the screen. Um, I wish there was just a control that you could just decide to, if you wanted to take that yeah. off. That would have been great. But on Unless there is and we haven't found it yet. Let us know <laughs> if you found it. Um, uh, handheld mode so far seems to work just fine. Yeah. If you take hand, you can still touch the screen to freeze enemies and play like the gamepad. And because um, like I said, right now it's weird that I can't. I have no second stick on two player to move the camera, so we have to. Oops, oh no! We have to move the uh, camera ourselves. Okay, so Toad. And I can also guy and stun him for you. pressing the up arrow. I can zoom in. So I can actually zoom in quite quite a lot on Toad to see him struggling underwater. No! Oops. Is there anything on this side or no? Yeah, I gotta go. Can you go, to, uh, go back to me. Okay, I'll come back this way. Okay, there we go. Try to hit this guy for you. Oh. That's what's okay. That's what's really the ah uh, man the controls. It's really weird. Um, I'm trying to get past you. Okay, I'm trying to hit that guy. Okay. Okay. Although 
there is a shiny thing back there. Yeah, I gotta get huh. How do we get that? Oh, maybe you have to drop down? Over here. Oh, okay. Okay, so I got one. Yeah, it's really weird. I, I need to have, like, I guess for especially two player, like, it's. I miss being able to control the camera yeah. fluidly myself. Because um, if you have. If I, to, for me to control the camera, I would have to actually physically stop moving and then control the camera. So it's kind of odd. I guess for two player, it gives, like, me more to do. So I can actually, like, help you out. But in one player. Um, having that there doesn't really do much, right? I don't know. Not that we've discovered yet. Okay, so let's get this up. So we got two diamonds. Okay. Let's go here. Maybe should I turn it? There we go. There's a lot of secrets in Captain Toad. He is searching for treasure. Yes, he is. And searching for... Should I turn? Oh, that's fine. Toadette. Toadette. More importantly, more important than treasure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I collected it with by throwing the turnip. Oh. Okay, so I gotta try that again. Okay, turn it for you. Turn it back. Yeah, I think. Oh, I just no other crystals. I got that. Crystals are. That part you got. Okay, I see where the crystal is. Yeah, the side of the bridge. There's also gold oh, I mushrooms, see. which I think I missed. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. So, because we're used to the Wii U one, I think, right? Yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button to like I keep moving the camera rather yeah. than like. Um, it's a little tricky to get used to. Yes, I will definitely say that. Um, and I think if we were gonna play this together, we would probably do what we used to do with the Wii U, which is just pass the the we used to do the gamepad. But now we would just pass the switch back and forth and kind of just play together that way. See, touch the screen and remember objects stop enemies in their tracks. The touch screen, I think, I, I want to say that uh, handheld mode might be the optimal way to play yes. this. Because um, I also I enjoy, so. I enjoy the pro controller, but I don't like, because I, I, my hands are really big, so to hold <laughs> onto the single Joy-Con and try to, yeah. is weird. Um, well, we missed our, it says, did not, don't destroy the temple bridge. Oh. So we have to go Let's back see. in to get that one. Um, we can also find Pixel Toad. Now, do you want to switch? Sure, yeah. Let's so, give that a try. So we'll give it a shot and see. Now the one player holds it this way? Yes. Okay. So you could go right on in. So let's go in. I'm, I mean, I maybe do. we'll get used to the controls. I'm hoping so because I yeah. love Captain Toad. So I want to see. Um, oh, I totally, now with it in my hand, I feel what you were feeling. Yeah. It's... Like it's so confusing when... You're switching from, especially if you're a player who had played the Wii U version, yes. and you're going to try to play this version. It is so tricky because your your hand wants to move the camera, like that's yes. your um your natural reaction is to yep. move the camera. The so two it's, players really weird. It's, it's totally confusing to my brain. So try to see if you can maybe go I can through. go the, here. Yeah. I get it now. Now that I'm playing it, I see what you mean. <gasps> no, I threw the key off. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, I got the key. And you can zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in on you. No. Um. Zoom in is the top one. The press the top. Where does the key need to go? Oh, it needs to go to that blue thing. So you gotta move the blue back. Um, I think I need to go down there. Can I jump down? Oh yeah. Nice. There you go. Open the door. It's a, it's a str it feels strange, it's right? A learning curve on There's getting a learning used to the curve. controllers for sure. Now again, we're playing two players, so we are splitting this in. When we play with the pro controller, with the exception of seeing the pointer on the screen like this the whole time as you're playing with the pro controller, it feels natural. It's it feels great. Yeah. You, you play, but for some reason, the two player is very tough. Um, but again, on the gamepad. I think it's probably the best way to play it. Secret. It's super natural and feels um, what we're used to on the Wii U. I think we have to go. To our... Oh, there you go. Here we go. Found nice. the secret. Because I would totally like t 
turn the camera right now, but I can't. Yes. And, yeah. and you feel weird having no control of Absolutely. the camera. Yeah. It's definitely Okay, a, so where do I go? Come to back get up out there. here, Amy. Okay. I can lift you up. Okay. And then we went to back down and scooch. Oh great! We did it! We're learning teamwork <laughs> on this one. So um, let's see. I'm, I think it was probably in the the special might be yeah three touches. So we could beat that level uh, by only pressing it three times. Okay, but we're getting used to it. Yes. On the Wii uh, and on this version, we're definitely gonna do it as well. But on the Wii U version, we did go through play all the levels and all the pixel got toads, everything. Yeah. everything. So now you can go to the next page. I am getting used to it though. Yeah. Now that we're playing it, yes. I am getting used to it, I will say. It's weird not having full control when it you're used is. to playing it with full control, it especially of, a ca of the camera. Um, I also want to mention for Captain Toad, um, it, it, they do it in a storybook fashion. There's a lot more than just this one book. The game is massive. Yeah. Like there, I mean, We won't spoil it for you, but there is a lot just more to the game. Just when you think it's done, you get some more, which is great. I can take a can you turn the camera and lower it so I can see what that is? You can zoom in on yourself too. Okay, you can somehow get there. Here we go. Nice. Got it! Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to save the day over here. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> Wait, wrong button. And you can control the camera too. If you did want to like control the camera, but it's like I said, you have to come it's to an a full stop. Step, yes. Yeah. So what's this? Let's see. Um, there's that thing down there. I think we have to come Oopsie. to that. Oopsie. Maybe over here. This is our. So if you go inside here. Okay. Oh, way. is that it? Oh, I can bring you down now. Yeah. Okay. We somehow made that work. Yes. <laughs> now, what are those coins? Okay, uh, can you lift me back up? Come out of here. Those coins. Oh, those coins. Maybe I can go up here. I think you go into that spot Again, where you were. Again, it is super confusing when you can't control the camera yourself. Well, you could try. You want to try it? See if you can control the, how you like controlling the camera? There you go. There you go. Figured it out. If you press, I think, the left button. You hold the left button. You can actually uh, manipulate the camera. The left button? Yes, this one right there. Oh, I see. If you press that, or maybe the bottom button? Bottom. Bottom. Yep, there you go. Bottom. So you can move the camera now, but you can't but move. But then Toad locks. Yes. So if you want, you can't like, kind of like run and gun it type of thing. I have to, I have to slowly turn, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. Oops. <laughs> so but it's, it's good for, it's, it's good for, it is good for teamwork for it couples is, and, and, and friends. Because you do have to figure out how to work together to try to get towed. Or even like, um, like families, if you're playing with your kids. Um... Yeah, I would say player two is a good thing for like the kids to do because it's it's you just you have infinite ammo and you can shoot all the bad guys with turnips. And they're gonna have to learn how to listen. <laughs> so okay, maybe I'm gonna this get one. in here. Up here. Down. Do you want to try? Is there anything in this guy? In those guys? Sure, let me check. Oh, turnips. Oh, maybe not. Hold the mushroom. No. Green. I'll take that. And I know there's a golden mushroom. I think there's a golden mushroom hidden in every level. I don't know for sure. No, there are maybe not every level. I, I can't remember. remember. We used to find them though. Yes. Is it every level? I don't know. I know there's certain missions to um, defeat all the enemies, which we should have done. Did. Yeah. Thanks to player number two. <laughs> Shoot and turn I didn't even crazy. see any enemies actually. <laughs> so what do we have? What's on? Is the next page? Is that the end? Okay, so I think then we'll hold off then. You want to end on okay. end the first chapter? Some and mystery. We'll leave some mystery <laughs> for you guys. Um, so again, not all the pages you see is what the game has. There's way more levels than that. Yes, um, multiple books. So that's Captain Toad on the Nintendo Switch. It is also available on the 3DS in 3D yes. um, which with touchscreen capabilities, which is really cool. Um, now, again, our issue was a little bit with the camera controls yeah. and for two-player. 
Um, but I think once we started kind of, as you guys watched, we kind of got the hang of it after yeah, a while. Yeah, definitely. And I, I, I would recommend playing handheld just because I feel like um, it's a little bit easier. You might be able to get into it faster. Yeah. Um, and if you've played the Wii U version, it, it will be easier for you to just pick up and play. There are yeah. um, new courses that we'll be getting to um, based on Super Mario Odyssey. So we have yes, to play to get so to those exciting. new levels and we'll showcase those on the channel once we get there for because sure. those are going to be a lot of fun. Um, so let us know if you have any questions about Captain Toad. Um, if you've played the original and you want to try to get back into it again on your Switch, it is great on handheld to take with you on the go to solve these puzzles. Definitely. So I... And in, in that, if you're going to take it on the go with you, it's a great game um, for traveling just because like you can do a couple chapters, yeah. throw it in your bag, and then you know come back to it whenever you want. So it's, it really is a good travel game. And there's replayability to get all the different uh, missions. As you saw, we have to go back and play without, doing the, without destroying the bridge and go ahead and go back without, what was the other one? In Three clicks. Yeah, and three we have to find all the mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. So, um, again, uh, let us know below if you guys got Captain Toad and what are your thoughts. Um, so, as always, guys, gaming is better together. So, until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, so if you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. And if you want to support our channel, be sure to check out our Patreon or grab yourself some NPC merch. So remember, guys, gaming is always better together. So, until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Thank you.